Medieval art is always looking kind of weird, not going to lie. But today I was like, I wonder if I can take this art style and make it my own and try and draw something like the true old artists. Let's see what I can do because this will be very interesting. Hello my friend, how are you? I hope that you feel very nice and very in the mood of historical kind of art because today we go very 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 back in the days of medieval times and in these times things were very different and also I don't think that artists back then knew or even saw some animals that then they pictured onto the walls. And I find it so funny because, for example, like, look at this, look at this animal. It's, <laughs> it's a ball. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what it is, but I, I love it. It's like so cute. Is it like... I don't even know what I can like interpret it as. It's so funny to me. I, I don't know. But you see what I mean? I really like this period of history because it's like... At this point, artists are just like there to doodle and not even try <laughs> or maybe i don't know it's kind of cute though so i am not complaining but today i wanted to try and be a medieval kind of artist and so i took four different animals that could be maybe weird for a medieval kind of person artist that maybe doesn't go outside the city and doesn't know about like all the animals that the world has and so i'll try and become that artist of so 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 many years ago not knowing which animals i'm referring to let's try and see for example let's take a giraffe a giraffe, we know what it is, but I imagine that back then an artist from a remote kind of village wouldn't know what the giraffe is. So let's just imagine that an explorer went and saw this giraffe and came back to the village and told the artist, hey, I have a very cool animal that I saw. Do you want me to describe it to you so you can draw it on my wall of my living room? And the artist would be like, yeah, sure, let's go, I'll do that. So I took the information that a giraffe has. And of course, is the long neck. And that looks kinda like a horse and has weird horns onto the head. So I drew this. <laughs> I can imagine that the artists of medieval times wouldn't know that the horns are not like the ears. I think that the artist would take the horns and make those as the ears because I don't know, I think that the artist would be like, okay, sure, I'm drawing strange ball horns and uh, here you go. I think that the animal will hear from those. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's go with that. And so I drew these kind of two horns and I also colored them in a red kind of color because, you know, I, I never saw a giraffe. And by the way, I didn't use reference for these drawings because that would be cheating because a medieval artist wouldn't have a reference. But I'm already cheating because I already saw a giraffe already, like in pictures. But I'll try to not influence too much my drawing with my imagination. If you take the description of a horse with a long neck with strange horns, I think that this will come out. Mm -hmm. Like, you see what I mean? Like. The, this cute Pokemon kind of <laughs> giraffe looks like something. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's it's it's. I think this is what 
this artist would have done with the description that the explorer told the artist. Do you see it? Because I think the that is great. Let's go to the next animal. The next animal is an ostrich. You are again the artist and you have never seen an ostrich. The explorer tells you, I saw this very interesting animal. It looked like a giant chicken, <laughs> okay? <laughs> But again, it had a long neck and it was like kind of black-ish and it was very giant and it was very interesting looking and so you are the artist and you go I totally understand what you have seen let me do my work and I'll draw it for you so the artist goes and draws of course chickens in the village there are chickens there so it the, the chicken part is okay but then the artist goes and draws the neck He doesn't know. The artist doesn't know um, about what's going on from here to here. So it goes with the imagination again. <laughs> And I saw this reference of an owl that had a body that looked like an owl. That was great. But the face? The face was very interesting because it looked very human. And so I took that reference and I was like, okay, so if they don't know how to draw the face, just the body, it's okay. I'll do that too with the ostrich. And so I drew the ostrich with this very creepy looking face that I actually love so much because it looks like, I don't, I don't even know, I, I, I just, I just, wow it looks like it, the face of the ostrich melted into a giant drop kind of shape and, and i'm here for it okay so here it's the final ostrich imagined as a medieval artist yes <laughs> i'll just say only that yes period oh my god this might be my favorite so far and yes next animal is a jellyfish you are again the explorer and the explorer went into the sea and went like oh wow these things are very weird looking i'm going to draw them again in my living room so when he went back he told the artist okay i have this thing it's very weird but i'll try to tell you it's like a giant head that has different kind of looking tentacles behind the head and it's a very weird moving animal that doesn't look like an animal but actually it is try and draw this for me so i go into the mind of this artist and the artist is of course confused but but one thing that i know is that he will take the head and i know i know that this medieval artist is going to put a face onto the head of the jellyfish. I know that because they have this thing, I noticed that they put faces where they shouldn't be there. And I, I thought, okay, if I was then this artist, I would totally make the face onto the head of the jellyfish. And so I did. This is what I'm doing, okay? But also, I don't think the colors would match. Like, I don't care if the explorer said, oh, it was like a white-ish kind of look. No, I think that the artist would be like, no, 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 no. I'm doing my own way. And so I'll do it a brownish color because I'm the artist. <laughs> And also fins. I don't know why, but I think that the artist, when the explorer went away, he would just go ham and draw also the fins because he only knows about fish and fish have fins and so also the jellyfish in his view of the world would have those what do you think right this this could look like a very nightmarish kind of thing and i would totally agree with you but 
come on, you cannot tell me that this is not what a jellyfish is to a medieval artist. You cannot tell me that. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so this, the last one, is a hyena. A hyena would be kind of easy, right, to draw since it's like looks like a, a kind of a dog. So I'm the explorer again. I came back and I say to the artist, okay, so listen here. The hyena is a dog looking kind of animal, okay, but the only thing that I remember about this animal is the fact that they laugh. They laugh a lot. So do as you please, do your job in the way that you want. I'll just give you these two information. They laugh and they look like some sort of dog. So the artist goes and draws and does, of course, the body looking great. I added a few spots because, you know, also the hyenas have that, but the artist doesn't know about how the spots go so he just does the same thing as the giraffe because yeah he takes the laughing parts and so the artist imagined this thing that this strange animal is like from the devilish parts of the world okay the head becomes like a, a demon a laughing demon head and it becomes red because with the green and with the everything it needs to be red apparently and so yes this is what the artist came out with a hyena that looks like it's, it's coming from like hell <laughs> hell <laughs> literally hell because it, it, it looks it looks like it has a mask that's grinning and laughing i think that if you don't know what a hyena is and you have like only these two descriptions you would go also with this kind of drawing i think yeah <laughs> so this is it this is the tiny hyena that is giggling all the way and yeah what do you think I will leave you here all the four animals that we draw today and tell me which one is your favorite. My favorite is totally the ostrich because look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my god, it looks so wonky. I am in awe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I finished my sketches and this is it. I hope that you liked to stay with me for this hypothetical medieval kind of moment. But hey, I can totally say you, if you have one day that you don't know what to draw, draw medieval animals. Because why not? We are at the end of the video right now. And so I will say thank you so much for giving me your most precious coin your time coin i will see you in the next video right bye bye